What's up and welcome to a very short update. The markets are getting towards the climax and the question is going to be where are we going to break out with the markets as we are approaching from C minutes. So we're getting some news once again. The dollar is showing weakness. We're going to explain that and we're going to look at the price action of Bitcoin which is still chopping around and the decision is close and it's going to be a very volatile move as we have been acting into this range for a few weeks now already before you continue make sure to subscribe here beneath to this youtube channel make sure to follow me on twitter as well and also check out our newsletter and premium membership which you can find in the description beneath eight global where you can trade alongside me yesterday we've been having a phantom long 33 percent average we've had a phantom short two trades break even and one partial TP at 12%. So we're doing really well. Join our premium membership. Also join our newsletter, which is three times a week. When we're looking at the price, actually, first of all, we can definitely say that yesterday has been quite strange given that the US indices have been going up. The dollar has been dropping and Bitcoin has been dropping too. Now, when you're looking at the price section of the dollar, the correlation is dropping a little bit. And why is that? Well, Europe gave some information. Europe is going to hike or the ECB is going to hike in September as well. And they have not been saying anything about that topic in the previous months. And because of the fact that they have been saying something about it and that they are going to make that hike or start hiking itself, it resulted into weakness on the dollar because simply the uh, euro will become a little bit stronger because of the hikes. If they have not been doing it, the dollar will be act stronger towards the euro and now they are doing it both. So you can definitely see the reaction on the DXY. And that is also why the correlation is not that heavy with Bitcoin because this is an outer factor that is taking into, uh, into the markets. Or taking into account and that's why the dollar drops and Bitcoin doesn't necessarily have to make that bounce up so on that ground tomorrow we are getting the form C minutes we're also going to get some news from Powell and I think that until then and until later this week we clearly don't have any breakout yet but we're getting towards the climax of the price action of Bitcoin so let's head towards the TA on the dollar and on Bitcoin to see where we are standing So if we're looking at the price action of Bitcoin lately, it's not really great for trend traders, right? We are acting inside this range and I'll just make it a little bit more fixed. We are acting inside this range at 30.5K and we've got the bottom, which is 286 which is technically speaking the support and in between we have been chopping around resulting into altcoins technically just going down. Uh, but that is what we're getting here and the Bitcoin dominance has been going up beautifully um, in which the expectations are that we're going to get some more momentum on the Bitcoin dominance too. I'm not expecting us to be trending down relatively soon as the fear is quite high in the market. When we're looking at the two hour time frame and we start zooming in a little bit more, we can arguably say that we've got ourselves into that resistance point, right? So we have to look at the one hour to get a clear picture and maybe zoom in some more. When we're looking at this price action, we've got this sideways pattern that we're currently acting into. We also got this support beneath us, beneath uh, which is around 28.4. And we've got the resistance, which is the area around 30.5. And we also got an additional one, which is this one at 31.1. I clearly stated that if we broke through the area at 30.6, the chances are that we're going to get here and then we're going to get continuation at 32.8 which clearly didn't happen as we have been dropping south and from that perspective we have been taking all the lows here and started bouncing from the area around 29k question is going to be right now how far are we going to go with the actual bounce that we're currently seeing in that perspective we can argue we can argue a bullish and bearish scenario first of all if we look at the structure of Bitcoin, we can technically say that we still have these lows to be taken out. So it would be a beautiful long scenario if we drop here, bounce back up and start trending after that, in which we're taking the liquidity beneath the lows and then we can start continuing. 
At this point, we are also still making lower highs. So if we get into an area where we clearly want to get some positions going or where we could be shorting, then we can clearly say that um, the 30k range, which we have been marking here, is the range that we have to break through. On the lower time frames, we even have to break through 29.4, which is currently the crucial resistance. If 29.4 breaks, I'm assuming we get towards 30.1, and then the question becomes, are we finally going to break out of this structure? And I think that if we are able to get towards the highs, we are most likely going to get that run towards 34K, right? So the area that we must be holding is the area that we are have marked here beneath, which is 28.4 to 28.6. If I would put my bets, if I would put be, or if I would be looking at longs for Bitcoin, I think that this range is the long area or when we flip back above 30k anything in between i'm not that much interested um, maybe i'm gonna short it because if you have a bearish bias if we get into this range then you technically want to short because you're expecting lower numbers to be coming to be uh, hitting in that case uh, right now it's just a neutral area which is untradeable but overall if we are able to get towards 30k and break that area i think that 32.8 and 34 in a relief ready scenario are quite likely to be expected before we're going to get some more uh, sideways action and potentially even more downward momentum on bitcoin when we're looking at the altcoins or at the dollar first we can see that the dollar has been breaking south right so we have been covering this price action in which we stated, hey, it dropped back in the range. We rejected here, creating a bearish divergence on the daily. This is confirmation of the bearish divergence. Downtrend continues and we got towards the first area of support in which we might be getting a bounce back up based from the Form C Fed meeting. And then the question becomes whether we are able to break through 102.6 and have further continuation. If we're looking at altcoins, technically speaking, everything is the same. If Bitcoin drops, the rest will follow suit. If Bitcoin bounces, the altcoins will start to show strength. And if I look at the daily time frame for most of them, it doesn't really look that great, in which the expectations are most likely that we're going to get some sideways action and we start bottoming out or have a longer prolonged period before we finally are getting ourselves into runs. That is the update for today. Bitcoin is still stuck, but it's very easy to navigate there and get yourselves going with trades. If you want to get in the, into those trades, subscribe to the premium membership beneath. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube. I'll be back tomorrow. Don't do stupid shit and have a wonderful day.